September 17, 2017, Travels with Phil continues just a little bit south of Parkfield, which is, uh, oh, I guess a little bit east of uh, King City, Paso Robles, south of Monterey, quite a bit. Not much to the landscape. I mean, it's just your typical Central Valley area out here. But the one thing this is, is the edge of the San Andreas Fault. And in fact, this is one of the few towns that has a sign up talking about it. Quite literally, I'm on the Pacific Plate now. As you can see by the sign, this is the fault line right here, and you're entering the North American Plate. So the San Andreas Fault runs right through the middle of this. Now granted, the San Andreas Fault does go through, well, almost all of the central part of California. In fact, from just north of San Francisco all the way down to the Mexican border, not too far from uh, Calexico, Mexicali. But what's different about Parkfield is they've been anticipating earthquakes through here quite a bit. And in fact, uh, there, have been, there have been quite a few earthquakes through here. So Parkfield, which is in the general direction that you're looking right now, is one of the uh, most seismically monitored cities in the world because of uh, all the earthquake activity here, be it uh, small or not so small. They have lots and lots of monitoring stations all around the area here to try and figure out what's happening along the San Andreas Fault. Looks like a bobwhite down there. Lots of moss and a little bit of water still running along. So from the North American Plate, heading back over to the Pacific Plate, which San Francisco is on this side of the fault line, Los Angeles is on the other side. Someday they may be neighbors. Travels with Phil. Back to you.